Oh my uh, god. We got some laser eye <laughs> surgery in there. Yeah, I fucking forgot about that box. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, mute button. Uh, that was the money guy. And did he not give us a quest that we then had to choose how to interface with? He wanted us to find an idea, right? We had to pitch him something, and it was a red check. But the red checks we currently have are all failed automatically because of the uh, precarious right. world that we're currently doing. So we're going to come back to that, and we're going to do another shot at that check once this is over. It's an hour 16 minutes. Uh huh. But we did speak to Everard. And then. Uh, we got our next step. Okay. Oh, I guess you could temporarily interrupt thoughts sometimes if uh, it's impeding your progress. Oh yeah, that's true, right? We can we can stop it for free and then turn it back on while we're standing mm. here. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Um, what stat was he asking for? Uh, I forget. Was it like rhetoric or? For some ideas, let's uh, check again. Oh gosh! Welcome back, gentlemen. Conceptualization, godly. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Okay. <laughs> that's conceptualization. Woo. What kind of conceptualization objects and clothing do we have? Not affected currently. Let me bring out the wrist saver right away. Right, right. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright. Uh, we have this shirt. We have this jacket. Oh, that's a plus two. We have, oh my god, the hat. <laughs> hey, you look cool in this image, actually. <laughs> we just look normal to him. <laughs> Uh, what else? Composure. Do we have light any light bending wealth? Can, can do we have any concept pants? No. No. All right, plus two. That's fine. That's fine. Oof. And we have a, a point oh. to spend if need be. We're at seven right now. Yeah. And it's a red check. Yes. What is the percentage at? Welcome back, gentlemen. What can I do for Eight. you? Eight. Minus two art degree useless. Oh, no. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's come back. <laughs> let's let's come back. Get out. You you can't do this. You can't. Oh. Precarious mm. world. Do you have to like deactivate the art degree? I can. And that would increase that would improve our check. Um but we definitely want to get that back. Yeah. Because the passive heal is fantastic. Ooh. But either way, um, let's see if what this turns into upon completion. Yeah. If that if that if that prospect is uh, as amazing as it sounds. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, we can probably kill time with a book, but we might be able to do something a little more productive. Uh, we were rocking the fallen. Oh yeah, fallen gear. Head to toe almost. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And we can just please put that put that away. Oh, you like it. Uh huh. Okay. 
it ties the whole suit together. Um, okay, so, uh, we need to talk to, uh, Classia on her own. Uh, well, look, there's a bunch of shit. Yeah. There's a bunch of shit. So let's, let's go do things. Uh, karaoke. Right, we were waiting for a morning crowd. It's 11.13 now. I assume then there's going to be uh, more people. Morning or evening? I, f I forget because when I was going to go sing it, they were like, no, wait for more people. So. Yeah, usually like after, what is it, at 9 that the hall ho opens and people are coming in? I mean, it's going to be a sad sack sight no matter what. Mm. Regardless of whether there's people there or not. No, I believe. I believe in Harrier. He's going to kill it. He's going to crush the performance. Everybody's going to be crying. Either out of sadness or horror. I get, I get, I get the feeling that like no matter when it's performed it, it'll it'll do the damage it needs to do right. um yeah there's Joyce we did find the crypto people the cryptozoologists we just didn't walk back over in that yeah. direction completely uh were we not waiting for no we go we called the library after it opened up right um Yeah, there was... Right to work. And then there was the folks here who were... Uh, oh. Hello. Good eye. So there's so supposedly yeah, some people around here that we didn't... That we started talking to, that we didn't continue talking to. Uh, oh, yeah. We were supposed to not annoy this person, I think. Are they doing better? The woman still has her eyes fixed on the photograph in her hands. In the background, the radio plays. No response. Wherever this woman is, your words fail to reach her. Snap this seems fingers. really, really disrespectful, that and that's rude. why we didn't go further with it, because yeah. we're just like, this poor person should probably be left alone. If you want her attention, you may need to be more forceful. Snap your fingers twice. Where am I? Who are you? Ooh, like a magician recalling a subject from hypnosis, you've jolted her back to reality. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh... My politeness missed out on content. <laughs> yeah. We walked away from her because I just didn't want to bother the poor old lady. But, but now it's time. Yeah, okay. You've learned to know the person you really are. So, without further ado. Are you alright, ma'am? You were out. Me? Uh, never oh. mind. I remember now. I'm still stuck in that traffic jam in the 50s. She adds with contempt. What's so bad about the 50s? Where else would you be then? When else would you be then? Back in Mezca, during the time of the revolution. The side walls and cafes are filled with the young people. I was on my way to see a new Goyadero picture starring Gabriel Buendero. Until you came along, who that is. The look she gives you is accusatory. Who's Gabriel Buendero? So I take it you were in the mask when you were young. Sorry to interrupt your dreaming, ma'am. Right, I have some other questions for you. Police questions. This is Gabriel Buenguerro. She shows you the photograph in the lavish amber frame. A strikingly handsome man looks straight at you. His head crowned with a wide brim hat. His hair is dark as an oil slick. And his jaw, the most perfectly chiseled thing you've ever seen. Yeah. This man's got a hold over her. Even 50 years later, you can feel it. He was the biggest star of his day. Girls used to faint in the aisles of cinema whenever he came on the screen. 
And a school boys used to memorize all his lines. <laughs> she leans back, savoring the world she conjured up. So who is this guy? Is it like Antonio Banderas in Zorro or something? I mean, that <laughs> sounds pretty apt. In all likelihood, it's a world that's only ever existed in her Or world. not. Take it, you're in Mexico, you're young. Someone was... Are these not your memories? They are someone's memories, boy. What difference does it make if it's me or not? Oh, shit. She's been... She spent too much time in the pale. Mm. Wow. Uh, that's wild. Holy shit. They're beautiful. That is all that matters. Beautiful and true. And they will win. They're coming for this, you know? All of this. Damn. Sorry to interrupt your dreaming. I wasn't dreaming. I was there, Loman. It was early spring, and the mine behind the black sun had just come out. The posters were 20 meters tall. Everything was golden. Her eyes narrow, and she appears to take your measure. Damn. I've always talked about, like, the benefits that could come from, like sharing thoughts from other people and, and possibly increasing the the empathy that yeah. a lot of people don't have but if it's involuntary and it's random in nature uh that is terrifying yeah <laughs> while you people were tearing each other apart over your petty little revolution in meth it was a golden age you take one trip one day and you come back with ptsd that you never had yeah. You know? The Republic of Mesk is a massive confederation on the Isola of Muindi, the world's largest state by territory. It's a petro state, a constitutional monarchy, and, as of recently, an outcast due to its tilt to the far right. Whoops. Right, I have some other questions for you. Police questions. Why not, Harifa? It's not like I have anything better to do in this hellhole. She settles back against the railing of her mother, Lori. Behind her, mountains of memorabilia, photos, and knickknacks line the dashboard. There's something off about this woman. Tell her to show you the soles of her boots. Maybe she was at the hanging somehow. Hmm. What are you hauling? Diamonds. Diamonds, really? Of course not. But wouldn't it be marvelous okay. if I was? Okay, but what are you really hauling? Whatever stupid things they put in the lorry, I imagine. So you don't know what you're hauling in your own lorry? I quit concerning myself with that a long time ago. Besides, I don't drive the lorry for the cargo. If you know what I mean. Mm, what if the cargo is contraband? Then it's contraband, Loman. What? Do you want to take an old woman in? Be my guest. Lock me away like Bad Hand Hermenegildos. <laughs> bad Hand Hermenegildos is a bad hand. Strangled 300 people. What can I say? Some people just really like strangling people. Holy shit. Wow. Not as cool as Luke. I still don't really understand this whole Boyadero thing. Of course not. To truly understand the Boyadero, you need to listen to on the Western Plain. The Boyadero, Boya for short, is a cow herder from upstream Magritte, the great steppes of northern Mesk. People like Manana at the gates have turned it into an ideology of sorts. Mm, okay, what's that? It's an old ballad about a young girl who falls in love with a daring Boyadero. He promises to marry her as soon as he returns from the Western Plain. Guessing that doesn't happen. Of course not. The Boyadero returns from the Western Plain a changed man. One night, as he and his beloved are out walking along the river Madrid, she pleads with him to give up his riding and settle down. I think I see where this is going. So the Boyadero strangles his beloved and throws her body in the Magritte. Then he rides off, because the Western Plain is calling to him. Damn. That's not where I thought this was going. You have to understand. 
a troubadour needs a whole horizon to himself. He can't be tied down by man or woman. His beloved was selfish. She didn't know what it meant to love a voyadeiro. Ride or die. Die. <laughs> what if to truly love a voyadeiro is to float lifeless downstream? Before I came, you seemed away. She's just a distracted old woman. We should maybe let her get back to her things. So he doesn't think she's a smuggler. You hear that, old man? I don't think your partner likes you spending too much time with me. Wait, why is that, Lieutenant? Nothing. I just don't think she's connected to anything. It's because of the pal. He doesn't want your frail mind caught up in it. And this woman has spent time in the pal. A lot of time. Mm -hmm. mm, that's bad. Should you drive a lorry if you get like that? Oh, don't worry about me. I'm one of the best camioners around. I drive routes no one else will. What routes? Lomonosov's Land, Udashnaya Zemlya, the Western Plain. She nods and closes her eyes again, letting her mind submerge. A terrible cold comes over her, rattling her teeth as she stares inward. Your shivers detected her shivers. <laughs> you literally, you, you, you used your stat to Yo. notice her stat popping off. New type noise. The Transcatholia Magistral, you for one A, Adestradas do Mirado, all the good ones, the deep trenches, where the bluebirds fly. She opens her eyes again and shudders. I'm something of an expert in blacking out. You should take better care of yourself. Cool. Ride until your dust, sister. Ride until your dust. Irmao, I already am dust. Yeah, so she literally has shivers, too. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. And she's uh, introduced to the pale as well. Six. Yeah. Now, let, let's hold that stat point. I think I know what's going on with you. And what is that? She sticks a filtered a cigarette into a cigarette holder and reaches for the light. You're a pail driver. You transport goods through the pail. Great. He asked the pines rep about the pail, and now he's talking to everyone about it. Mm. I'm not! Fine, then. Just try not to black out again, and don't contemplate. We don't have time for that. Oh, God damn it! Kim, are you aware of some, some horrible pale-based secrets that are affecting my character that you don't yeah. want me to be, uh, you know, deeply analytical Why of? Why is he being less, so overprotective? Lest the truth know? were to come out. Yeah. I don't like that. Oh, I'm contemplating, Kim. I'm drawing existential conclusions from this. Quite literally. Yeah, no, just detective work. That's all I need it for, for now. Everything is related to the pale. My condition, the case, everything. It's all anthropogenetic. That is exactly what I didn't want you to think. <sighs> Ma'am, my partner wanted to know if you work in pale transport. No offense, but your partner... She lights a cigarette. A white and silver cloud of smoke disappears into her mouth. Seems like a bit of an idiot. Oh! I blacked out after a night of heavy drinking and lost all memory of the world. I blacked out from sheer heartbreak and lost all memory of the world. I'm not an idiot. I'm a detective of the RCM. Don't say I'm an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yo. <laughs> Like Gabriel Buenguerro in Pergunte a Poeira. You're the opposite of me, then. I remember everything. Even things I never knew. Things you never knew. The smell of liquor on Gabriel's lips after the shoot. In the motor park. The roses on the day of Franco Negro's coronation. On the grand stairs of Ryle. The smoke from the fouling piece when Dolores Day was shot. The look on her face, like an orgasm. The wound in her chest. My hand in my father's hand. Except, I never had a father. And I never shot her innocence of Dolores Day. Hmm. Over radiation. Heroic doses, Harifia. Heroic. Isn't that dangerous? Thought insertion? Dithering? The Grad Catalan Magistral? Dithering. It's more than dangerous. It's sad. 
but at first I had to make a living. Now. That's interesting to use as a term because it's a it's a way of describing a visual filter. Of the dithering. Mm -hmm. Go away like that, rolling off like the sea, and then come back to this. She gestures at the square, the broken horse monument, the clanging of the machines in the distance. What are we doing here? For thousands of years, Gabriel. It doesn't have to be like this. We can just give up. We can just become a vapor. Wow. What does it look like, the pale? Like looking into the ocean at night. In the dark. And? You cannot see it, but you know it's there. And it's big, bigger than anything. Bigger than all the other things combined. What does it feel like? Nothing. Until it starts. When you are deep enough. Then, for me, it's like autumn. Dark, gray, and orange. The orange of street lights and the color of streets and electric light. It smells like autumn, too. It smells terrible. Nostalgia. Cooped up in the cabin. Shaking, terrible nostalgia for yourself, for humans. It's too much to bear. She loves it. That sounds like super cool and super terrifying at the same time. Mm -hmm. Like just literally in a physical location that is now just becoming a sensory like overload. How, How do, you do you pass through it? In the belly of an airship behind the cell windows. So you don't look straight into it. It's not advised to look into it. Not on the slurry, then? No, the same one, a roller. They all are nowadays. Special wheels for connecting to the floor of the hall. She points to the machines, clumped up like toys. One last thing. You said we can just become vapor? Yes. No elaboration. Mm, I would rather have what I have than what you have. I would rather have what you have than what I have. I feel like I already have what you have, in some way. Huh. Do we? Because I'm inclined to say two. Because yeah. there is a... Again, like, it's almost, it's almost like you're... It's all, it's not real. It's but it's almost like you're just like you're lost on tri and tripping on other people's memories. But right now you're struggling to remember literally who you are and your own identity. Um and these and then the only way I can see this like playing in is like almost in terms of like your stats and the voices of these 20 I keep getting the number wrong. Is it 24? 24. <laughs> these 24 characters in your head all giving you things that who knows if these are even actually you. Yeah. You know, I mean, we don't know where this game is going to go, but I think um, the coolest answer to role play would be this one. They say there's a point, one that I have not crossed. In the pearl, super deep. If you stray too far, of course, on the U for 1A or in Lomonosov's land. Where every step you take is one step further from home, no matter the direction. The pale super deep. It's a point you cannot come back from. Your mind becomes so radiant with the past, there is a flip. Instead of writing, it erases memory, nearing some kind of indescribable finale. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Maybe you've been down the motorway south. She looks at her cigarette. It's almost out. She has swallowed it hungrily. Then at you. The motorway south. It's a story as lone horsemen tell. Lone horsemen, Carife, not pearl drivers. Way beyond the established pearl that's lit by radio frequencies, where it goes silent and dark. And the process begins, erasure, kilometer by kilometer, in any direction. The motorway south is a road you cannot come back from. What is at the end of the motorway south? No one knows what's at the end. I've only glimpsed the beginning. She takes a cigarette out of the cigarette holder and extinguishes it. Okay. 
So we've just learned that it's possible for the Pale to not only give you other people's memories, but for there to be something called erasure. Mm -hmm. Let's put that one on the corkboard. I've only felt it in the distance when I was a child. A child growing on the left. Ma'am? A sigh escapes her lips, then silence as she stares within herself. There is nothing more to do now. She's far away. She is receding in the clutches of some indescribable scattered emotion. The child descending. You fried both your brains enough for today, detective. He inspects her. No response. Let's get some air. This one's far gone. He shakes his head silently as he turns to leave. Alright, well that's the coolest character in the entire game. <laughs> Free, easy. Yeah, you think With so? a bullet, no comparison. She went deep. Her, vo her, her voice acting is 10 on 10. Her artwork is 10 on 10. Her backstory is 10 on 10. That's the coolest character in the entire game. Moving on. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look at what we got. Uh, motorway South. Bizarre angles. Minus one visual calculus. Eight hours, ten minutes. At the edge of the map, the landmass begins to disintegrate into pure trigonometry. The ocean melts, becoming a tangle of sines and cosines. The mountain range turns into a sharp-angled azimuth. Its green rain shadow dithers, like music turning into a waveform, and then vanishes. This is the end, a half-remembered textbook from your childhood, the porch collapsing on the edge of the Isola. A transition from reality to pale, a single vector shoots out, like a rocket. Is the motorway south, splintering off from the known pale, to where? Where does it go? Hmm. Yeah, white morning. Contact Mike. All checks have been unlocked. Yes. This is no longer of any use to us. Yes. We can remove this with nothing being lost. Yeah, unless there are some physics check that you want to keep but eh. holy fuck this is a this is interesting i bet it's worth it too minus one visual calculus bizarre angles research time eight hours let's do it that's fucking cool mm-hmm mm -hmm. all right got one more point uh we do bizarre angles it said I, I like my zoom out. I understand that, like, the rest of it's pointless, but I do like the ability to zoom out there. Uh, yeah. Okay. We're horseback monuments. So then. Um. So this karaoke probably after 9 p.m., I guess. Goes in the trash. Figure out the the, the the whirling access. Explore the secret passage. Talk to Joyce. Oh yeah. I have to show her the badge. Yeah, let's do that then. Uh, is there a pathway through there? No. Hmm. Maybe. Oh yeah. Oh nice. And there's this buddy. Man, I'm really happy we got those cool jackets. Yeah, you're not sporting them, though. Nope. <laughs> you're gonna put it on before karaoke? Piss friend. <laughs> Carter's like, get off the stage! Might go fuck the world. <laughs> there, on that balcony. Do you see it? See what? Cindy? Yes, that's where I'm headed. Not now, I'm Straight into a bullring with no prep talk. No, no, no. 
It's your first sales negotiation. Ah. Savvy's got to give you the do's and don'ts. All right, I'm listening. We're um we're vision questing. Artistos are known to repel wealth. It bounces off their skin like rubber. <laughs> Does it? The moment a reasonable business proposal enters their periphery, they go and get political. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nonsense. No one repels wealth. The businessmen just don't know how to entice them. Hey. Now, suggestion, you're wrong. Artists literally repel wealth. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Some of them are known to turn the entire thing into a happening. It's why exposure bucks is a thing. What you need to do is lure them in with a strong one-liner. Get them on your side before you've even finished a sentence. Show us what you've got. Pretend you're facing the skull girl. Like, that's feel... Like, I, it's... Like... Every time I see those, like, the four exposure Twitter account, and it's just people going like, wait, what? No, you should draw for me for free. And I'll I'll show everybody how good you are and send them your way for business. And it's like, I just don't see how that I, the idea that you're, like, being a shit when you're asking, for, when, you're, when you do that is ever going to spread far and wide enough that, like, people realize that they're being shits. Yeah. It's like... It's, I think that's a time thing. Like, people in that... Like, it, basically, people of that generation were, like, you know, like, you go, you get a little bit older, and then, like, you pass down this kind of idea or so, and then you have people now. Like, it's just... It's something that just needs time. Because it's, like, I can't see it being, like, a widespread enough, like, hey, people treat artists, artists like shit, and, like, they don't get paid enough for what they do. And people think they're disposable, and just kind of fucking exploit them all the time. Yeah. Like, it's just... It, it just i don't know it, it seems like like a like a ridiculously difficult hurdle to overcome because the default state of things is yeah no we just we you you do it for me for free what's the problem you know yeah, you get exposure people are gonna know about you it's free adverts right no you have to spend time on this i have skills and talent that you have to somewhat pay for you know it's because you can't eat rt yeah, dash <laughs> i mean <laughs> uh well Unless it's a banana peel. Become a cake confectionery artist that uses, uh, that sculpts things out of fondant. Ugh, fuck fondant. <laughs> fuck fondant so hard. It's disgusting. But it looks shiny and pretty, though. <sighs> what a waste. Hey, beautiful. Let's go for a walk on the wild side. Hand over your art. Put it in the bag. Now! Excuse me. Can I please take a look at your art? Hey, it's your lucky day. I'm in the market for some original art. Art by the creme de la creme. Oof. <laughs> oh boy. Do we go for the wink nudge oh, and that's... the expression? The can horrible we, expression? Can we be cool with her? <laughs> can we be cool with her? Can I please look at your art? You want to be cool? <laughs> she Look at you know her attitude. That's not going to fly either. Yeah, you don't think that she's going to be like, stop, uh... Listen, we're going ultra. Stop fluffing me. Plus ultra. Mamma mia. If this isn't the top seller in La Delta, no one expected you to nail this on the first try. <laughs> Congratulazoni. Okay then, off you go. Wow. Let's see what you've got. <laughs> Ready for action. Nailed it. Hey. Hello again, officers. Have you come to admire my mural? Do you have any idea what happened to the hangman's armor? What do I care about some fucking tin eggshells? Mm, wait, don't you want to know how I knew to ask you? Not particularly. I want to keep this as brief as possible, you see. I want to return to painting the world red. Piss and fuck told me. <laughs> Fine. I don't care about those wannabe skulls, and I don't care about your armor. Isn't armor art? Art for the um, body? Oh, uh, all right, Piggy. I'll give you this one. Yes. I saw a little girl in the fishing village running around with military-grade handwear. Look cute as hell. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Looks like. Looks like Lammy. Yeah. Might, might need to. Uh, might be in danger. <laughs> oh, no. oh no, we have to go back. Could that girl have been little Lily? It's not a bad place to start. I know a little girl in the village, little Lily. Could have been her. Small kid with giant white armor tans. <laughs> oh no. You've seen one of them. You've seen them all. We're gonna hustle little Lily. <laughs> We're gonna hustle. We're gonna hustle those gloves away from her. Give me those gloves. It's your lucky day. I'm looking to acquire some original art by the creme de la creme. What's that? The piggy is looking to get into the art market with a snappy business pitch. Watch oh. out, or you'll be auctioned off and face the chop. She draws a line across her throat with a tongue. The lieutenant straightens his back, waiting. To see <laughs> Kim. I was like, oh? <laughs> she stares at you fearlessly, waiting for a response. I'm not a pig. I am the law. Show me what you're selling or I will shake you down. Help, let me out. I don't want to die. <laughs> Perfect. This is all very on brand for you. Love that little persona you've created. <laughs> Yo, give it back to oh, her. Oh, I love it. Give it back to her. I love it. Yes. This little persona will grind you into a sausage if you don't stop. I'm not a sellout. Perfect. The cameras will love that edge. <laughs> It'll be great for the interview. The whole point of Graffitio being on the street is so everyone can see it. No charge. Expression for all. There has to be a way to convince her. Everyone mm -hmm. has a price. Mm. I'm after something a little more challenging. I have an actual hard degree, after all. Alright, quit playing. Tell me the price. I can make you rich and successful. I do have an actual art degree. I thought you were a pig. She squashes her nose with a, with a thumb so it resembles a snout. Both the police work and art criticism require analytical talent and informed judgment calls. <laughs> no, I'm an art cop. I chase down works of lazy derivation in the heated battle for original aesthetics. Yes, I'm a pig, but only if we decide to deconstruct what it means to be a pig. Ooh, that's good. These are good. <laughs> I like all of them. Uh, I feel like we disarmed Kuno by by embracing the pig thing. Yeah. Because you just take it away from them. So every time you embrace pig, it feels as if like they just they, they can't weaponize it anymore. Be rabbit. These are all pretty good too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here, tell them something they don't know about me. Oh <laughs> uh, so, shit. You got nothing to say? Clarence? <laughs> Clarence then went home and became an Avenger. <laughs> Ooh, little Piggy knows the big words. What a waste of a perfectly good saucy son. Stuffing it full of art speak. Mm. Sorry. Even with your fancy degree, you've got nothing to offer me. Hmm. Nothing Perfect. at all. She isn't interested. All the more reason to move on from this little side task. Hold up. Hold on, I'm not done yet. Your partner here gets it. Anything else I can not do for you? Gentlemen. She gives you both a mischievous smile. Mm. Oh, white check, not too bad. Not too bad. Plus one snappy pitch. So, suggestion. Oh, baby, minus one. Minus one. Hmm. How about some skull face paint? <laughs> God, she would hate that. You want to go back to the furnace and get a bit more suit? Nope. No? Nope. Oh, okay. Uh, anything on the side uh, currently hitting us? Plus one here. Yep, that's it. Yeah, that's about it. Okay.
Let's see. Come on, success. Hello again, officers. Have you come to admire my mural? Better than a coin flip. She's locked up tight. What does she want? Mm. Maybe it's as simple as asking her. Come on and whine about it so she feels superior. Is there anything? Is there any other way I can prove myself worthy? Squeal. Then maybe we can talk business. Oh my god. <laughs> Kim, you do it. <laughs> oh, Kim. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. You can't put it on Kim. He's gonna hate you for that. He's gonna punch. He's you. gonna hate you no matter what you do. But if you, if he's gonna hate you no matter what you do, you might as well embarrass yourself instead of Kim. Uh huh. You might as well. Good little piglet. She says with words coated in butter, locked. <laughs> Ouch. Oh God, that was just shameful, Willie. That was that was nothing. It wasn't to gain great. This. It wasn't great. <laughs> She's gonna get us a collar, a little nose. <sighs> we jump in on this. Suggestion seven. <laughs> hmm. Ooh. Hello again, officers. Seventy-two. Come on, come on, be worth it. Sure, she's all draped up in ironic detachment, but everyone's gotta eat. I do have something to offer in exchange for your art. Money. Straight Great. up. Great. The little foray into the art world continues. Murmurs the lieutenant, looking up. Blah, blah. I'm not for sale, Pigo. She looks almost disappointed by your lousy offer. Told you. Told you these artist types repel wealth. Turn it around. It's the seller who wields the power in this relationship. Really? You're just going to let go of a chance to milk some stupid pigo rolling in cash? I don't care what you sell me, and I don't care what you do with your money. It's your choice. Uh-oh, you're manipulating me. I do like a chance to rip off some stupid pigos. And I need a pack of cigarettes. And some paint. She sounds almost fascinated by this discovery. Okay, whatever, Piggy. Time to leech off each other like the parasites we are. Let me see what I've got. She reaches yeah. into her heavy coat and pulls out a small piece of Getting plastic. Getting all up in the metal mine. Coated thick with emulsion. It's like psychology, but in reverse. <laughs> Even the lieutenant leans closer to inspect the work. Ooh. Here. Happy? The plastic looks sad and damaged, as if it's been ripped out of some bigger piece. A glitzy barnacle of colors covers its surface. Interesting. You can immediately see multiple ways to interpret this piece. What is the experience that the artist is trying to create? What bodies and spaces are they seeking to explore? Remember, this is a buyer's market. You're the one who's in charge of pricing. Show it to me. Hmm. Would you describe this as one of your signature pieces? How much do you want for it? Let's come back to this later. Show me. You know... <laughs> oh god, I just had a fucking memory. So in art class, in, in uh, specifically art history class, uh, which if you were unfortunate, you, then your schedule gave that to you at 8 a.m. on a Monday morning. Ugh. As you stared at slides in the dark. And the teacher was uh, this bearded old gentleman that was very, very, very into his art and okay. uh, into the appreciation of art. So much so that he had a method that he had to teach you of the right way to, uh, to take in art. And when we take a trip to the nearby museums to, to uh, uh, see the collections, and there's the historic collection, and then there's the contemporary. And uh, he had a method and his display of how to properly 
well, consume art. Okay. Was you take the size of the piece into consideration and you stand back the correct distance. So the larger the piece, the more you the further you the stand further back you stand. until you can see the full piece in the dead center of your vision, not going into any of your periphery. Okay. So both of your eyes must see it in its in its fullness from top to bottom, corner okay. to corner, and that's the right distance to stand at. So if it's a small thing, you get very you get, you get that close. And you shouldn't be moving your eyes. No, no, no. You should be looking at it. Dead center in your focus. Yeah. And then you stand back so that you take it in. And as you stand back, hold your hands out. Relax. In a receiving. Like, take the piece in as it's dead center. And you lean back. And you receive the message of the art or the art or whatever it is that is intended. He was serious. He dead serious. Hold and your posture backwards in a way that is like, because you're inhaling, you're breathing in and it, it encourages a receiving kind of process. It, it's almost like you're catching. Was it a suggestion or was it the way he to did, do he it? He did. He showed us to, <laughs> he literally showed us this and Yes, it it is it is how you take it in. That sounds so stupid. By putting yourself in a in a leaning back receptive process. And that is how our art teacher taught us to observe art correctly. Were they really really old? Yes. I guess 70s. If I had to take a stab at it. And of course, no source to like back this up. It was just the way. That was his way. That was the way. That was his way. Now, he was the art history teacher. Mm -hmm. He was not one of the artist slash teachers that I had that was showing us how to actually do anything. His whole class was showing the slides and talking about the history of old art and then modern art. And that was his method. You stand back, you center it focused, and you hands out in a receiving pose <laughs> you ever had these teachers that you're wondering how come we didn't get fired and you're probably like yeah there's a reason there's probably fired. the school board doesn't want it Fi that motherfucker has tenure <laughs> you can't get rid of it and i have an actual art degree <laughs> oh man that is show terrible. it to me she juts out her hand letting you examine the piece Three red splotches have been shot at a diagonal across the surface. Tinier crimson spots fan out from the same point of origin. Well, Piggo, what do you make of it? She sounds almost mocking, waiting for your reaction. The angle of the paint drops reveals that they were fired at the canvas with the force of a hand cannon. Good roll. Just enough. Someone got killed here. A five millimeter caliber, point blank range. Uh, yes. My artistic integrity. It's impossible to tell whether she's being serious or not. Would you describe this as one of your signature pieces? Signature? Oh yeah, pigster. I sneezed while holding a wet brush. <laughs> Paint flecked onto the canvas. And voila! You don't get more signature than that. And an exquisite commentary on the precious precious serendipity of the creative process. Now this is a second class in which it was pure fine arts bullshittery, where the work you handed in was not as important as your bullshitting to explain its meaning. Oh yeah. And that's what you were graded on. It's not what we were told it would be graded on, but it became very evident that's what it was about. within a project or two. That your ability to bullshit your explanation was really what where your grade came uh, from. Uh, a particular teacher as well. Or? Yep. <laughs> also special. Huh? Because because the thing about doing a technical art class is that like the majority of it is based on teaching you practical uses for your art, right? Commercial art, uh, um, uh, blueprints for a house, line drawing, you know, whatever, like actual things that are gonna you know get you a job yeah um uh, you know the uh uh the, the our, our one of our main teachers was the guy who created the zeddy mascot for zellers yeah 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 right? i remember that so like you know there's there's stuff 
But some of the teachers had to teach us how to paint in, in loose fine art ways. And some of those fine art teachers were teachers from the fine art program crossing over. And, you know, didn't have a lot of sync in our energies, to say the very least. And this was one of those cases where, like, yeah, that lady just kind of wanted to hear a nice story. Oh, uh, to go alongside your homework, you know, and and yeah, bullshitting absolutely is the skill that you're supposed to learn in that class. She never said it outright, but it, everyone caught on very quick. Yeah, bunch of weirdos. And those who did high concept, high rendered, high like effort things, but just didn't have much to say about it. Like, yeah, it's a hyper accurate painting of my boyfriend. It's really, really detailed. It's super cool. Nice. Uh, that's that's it. But it has no soul. Though. There was, and it's like, oh well, it's, it's yeah, that's, that's okay. Yeah, you're that's love. It's a, it's a, it's detail and it's love. That's nice. And you C plus nothing special. Yeah, nothing special. C plus. And I was like, oh god, the savage. Yeah. Anyway. Interesting. I, what I really want to know is, what do you call this new style? That's disgusting. So you painted this with a sneeze? Truly remarkable. Clear sign of genius. How about we go with that's disgusting? Says you. She looks you up and down. How much do you want for it? Even though it's gross. 67,000 real. And your head on a silver tray. Cindy, please. Remember, this isn't about the art or the artist. This needless purchase implies your excessive wealth. Art comes across as more tasteful than simply hanging cash on the wall. <laughs> uh, I can part with 50. I'll pay 25. Locked, locked. 10 reals. <laughs> How about 10? And I got. I do have more questions. Ask away. Signature? Oh, yeah, pigster. I sneezed while holding a wet brush. What do you call this style? Art hey, issue. Mm, that's okay. Terrible. Okay. All right. Literally, yeah, she's, she's leaning into it. Uh, 10 bucks for a sneeze? That it? All right. It all helps. She gives you the painting. Splendid. Your first physical asset. But no time to stop. Money grows old unless it keeps moving. You need to find a buyer. Yes. Preferably someone who will pay a high price for such an exclusive piece yeah. from a local artist. Exactly. What about Joyce? She's wealthy. I could sell it to Gart, hanging up in the whirling in rags. Everard can buy it on behalf of the Union. The mega rich light bending guy seems blindingly rich. That seems like a pretty good idea. Yeah. This place isn't exactly bursting with rich people. Uh, I mean, does that not feel like the way to get a ton of fucking money? He might, he'd probably be interested. Yeah, I think he can afford it. Good call. Sure. He said he doesn't carry much money on him, but he must have something else to trade. Let's hustle. Look at us. Coming to an agreement. Who'd have thought? A breeze blows strands of hair across her forehead as she leans into the balustrade. Anything else you want? I'm in a good mood, but it won't last long. We have to find a way to commit this sneeze art to the blockchain. <laughs> Catch you later, Cindy. Nice dealing with you. Oh, what is that? I don't know. I've never seen it before. Across the building. Was that on the second floor? 